Hey guys, in this video we will be looking at one question that we can practice on circular measure. I have already done a full video on the whole topic, I will leave the link in the description and also at the end screen. If you want to watch that, do check it out after the video. Let's review all the formulas we use in circular measure. This is a sector of a circle. For the sector of the circle, we can find its area using the formula 1 over 2 r square theta. This portion up here is called the arc of the sector. The arc formula is S is equals to r theta. R here refers to the radius, theta refers to the angle as in the diagram. Then you can see this line here, horizontal line, this is known as the chord of the sector. The chord has a length of 2R sin theta over 2. And then finally we have this area here, this small piece of the sector is known as the segment. The perimeter of the segment, which is the arc and the chord of the sector, is simply the sum of the arc length and the length of chord. So that is r theta plus 2r sin theta over 2. The area of the segment, which is the area bound by the arc as well as the chord, is simply the area of the whole sector minus the area of the triangle. And therefore the area of segment is 1 over 2 r square theta minus 1 over 2 r square sin theta. And if we factorize 1 over 2 r square, we can just simplify the formula to 1 over 2 r square in brackets theta minus sine theta. Let's get to the question. The diagram shows two sectors O, A, B, C and D, A, E, C with centers O and D respectively. It is given that O, A is 8 centimeters, angle A, O, C is 62 degrees, angle A, D, C is 88 degrees. And the length of arc AEC is 9.111 cm. This question requires us to use pi is 3.142. Find the perimeter in centimeter of the shaded region Y. Let's focus on A first. Before we begin answering the question, as always, we should transfer all the information in the question to the diagram. So let's label the diagram completely. OA is 8 cm. AOC is 62 degrees, ADC is 88 degrees, the length of arc AEC is 9.111. Let's find the parameter of the shaded region Y. Here we simply apply the formula P is equals to R theta, which is the length of arc ABC, plus 2R sine theta over 2, which is the length of chord AC. Theta here should be in radians since it is on its own, and sine theta over 2 theta should be in degrees because it is part of sine. Again, this is assuming that your calculator is in degree mode, which it normally is by default. Since we need to use theta in radians, we first need to convert the value of the angle from degrees to radians. Since we are looking at arc ABC, which belongs to sector OABC, we will be taking the angle AOC, which is 62 degrees. Let's convert that to radians. The conversion is simply multiply with pi over 180. That would be 62 times 3.142 divided by 180. The value that we get is 1.082 radians. Let's transfer that to the diagram. 62 degrees is equal to 1.082 radians. Now we can simply substitute the value into our formula. We start with R. The radius of the sector is 8 centimeters, so that would be 8 multiplied by 1.082 radians. This has to be in radians and be plus 2 again, the radius is 8 sine theta over 2. This time we key in degrees, 62 over 2 degrees. We will get 16.90 centimeters. This is the parameter of the region Y. Let's try B. Find the area in centimeter square of region X. By looking at the diagram, we know that X is a segment of the sector ACD. Therefore, we just need to apply the formula for area of segment. That is 1 over 2 R square bracket theta minus sine theta. Again, theta here has to be in radians. It is on its own and the theta with sine theta must be in degrees. So once again, we have to convert 88 degrees to radians. Here we are going to use 88 degrees because this segment belongs to the sector ADC. The conversion is the same as earlier. Multiply by pi divided by 180. And that is 
88 times 3.142 divided by 180. The value that we get is 1.536 radians. Now that we have the angle in radians, we still need to find the radius of sector ABC. We don't have this value. All we have is the arc length, but we can use the arc length to find the radius because the formula for arc length is S is equals to R theta. Making R the subject of the equation, we get R is equals to S over theta, which is equals to 9.111 divided by 1.536. And the answer for the radius is 5.932. Let's transfer this to the diagram as well. And now we are ready to substitute our values into the formula for area. So the area will be equals to 1 over 2 r square. This time we are taking the radius of sector ABC, which is 5.932 square. And in our brackets, theta here is the angle of sector ABC, which is 1.536 minus sine theta, which is sine of 88 degrees. Again, we use degrees whenever we use it with sine. And the value for the area is 9.44 centimeters square. If you've got some value from this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button, guys. Thank you very much for doing that. I'll be producing at least one video a week. If you'd like to see more of this, do subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.